guys, it's July 5th, day two of the Tour de Fleece, and this is Sarah from Yarn Lab Canada. Just got back in town from Kinbrook Island Provincial Park, where I spent the night camping with Kevin, um, and it rained on us almost the entire time we were there. So it was a little bit of a bust, but we still managed to get uh, a little bit of campfire good times in. Cooked a skillet of breakfasty goodness this morning, and I got a tiny bit of spinning done. So I'll show you the clip from that uh, right here. And as you can see, the weather is pretty gloomy this morning as well. So, even though I'm pretty tired, I think I'm gonna get some spinning done this evening. I've got the rest of that bat I started yesterday, and I'm gonna spend tonight finishing it off. So I'll show you the process from that. So yesterday I promised you guys I'd show off a little bit of my homespun. So this is some of the stuff that I've been working on recently. This first section is all yarn that I spun during my beginner spinning course at Old Fiber Week. Some yellow um, thick and thin two ply merino. It's the same yellow with some gray merino. This one here is a mixed fiber that I believe was called Prairie Blizzard, and it's got a little bit of just about everything in it. This is a mixed fiber that our instructor gave us um, in a jar, and it also had literally just a little bit of everything in it. This is merino that we did a carding exercise to create a color wheel with. This is Montedale, I think. Um, that was some roving that we spun. This is a two-ply. And a little bit more of the uh, merino with a little bit of Montedale mixed in. And again, some of that real uh, combination fiber. Some merino and Firestar and Sari Silk. And some more Montedale, three ply this time. So all of that was spun over three days at uh, Old Fiber Week. Some of my homespun that predates Old is over here. So this is 100% mohair. It's uh, spun right from the locks and I dyed it myself. And it came out a nice, uh, a nice lofty sort of yarn with a great halo and lots of curls from the locks poking out. This one here is a self-striping single. Um, it's just the Knit Picks uh, Wool of the Andes roving that I purchased the bear and dyed it up to be self-striping. Over here I've got three skeins that I've spun that are not self-striping but all dyed by myself and spun here. Yeah. This is some um, spin cycled yarn. So this is the blue yarn was recycled from a sweater and the pink came from it was dorset roving that I dyed and so it's spun some old and new. This one here is a two-ply in fin that I dyed myself, and I believe I spun this one um, sort of fractal, so you have a long gradient uh, plied with the short gradients. This one here is the Knit Picks Bear again, spun thicker and two-plied, and it's um, a really beautiful color gradient. So. Just pull back and take a look at some of the fibers that uh, are waiting to be labeled and listed in my Etsy shop. In behind we have recycled yarn that was uh, that I pulled out of sweaters and dyed here at home also waiting to be labeled and listed in my Etsy shop. So just a little bit of fun take a look at some yarns that I've got going on. Right, so there's a full bobbin with 100 grams of this Cordell bat on it. Took me a couple hours to finish spinning it off tonight and now I'm going to wind it off onto my ball winder into a center pull and I'm gonna two ply it. After two plying it I'll probably call it quits for the night. So you can see the colors all right on this video. Lots of purple, lots of pink, lots of blue, lots of sparkle. So that's it for tonight. I'll show you the finished yarn tomorrow 
and uh, happy day two of Tour de Fleece. Let me know how your spinning's been going in the comments below. Once again, I'm Sarah from Yarn Lab Canada, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Yarn Lab Canada, and I'm on Ravelry as Turner Classic. Happy spinning!